right, we got us a no cooling call today. We'll set to 74, it's 76 in the apartment. I got the fan on because it is frozen, frozen solid. I mean, the only thing that miss, the only thing that is missing now, Skid Bro, is Elsa and Anna. Look at all that ice coming off of there. The outside is frozen as well on the suction line and going throughout the condenser. Big old ice block. So I'm gonna let the fan thaw this out. Filters soaked. And I'll be back. Yeah, I'm outside at the condenser. You can see the ice still in there on the suction line. There was some out here too as well. I went ahead and hooked up the gauges. I already know it's gonna be low. It's a TXV, so I need to find the the required subcool. It's not written anywhere on the on the plate inside. I'll pop this off and see if it's written in here. Well, I pop the cover off and I don't see a recommended subcool written anywhere. On the carriers on the other side of the property, we have carriers and it says on the unit recommended subcool 11. But I don't see it anywhere. It's not on here. It's not on the air handler inside. We have first company air handlers with Goodman condensers. TXV, so you got to charge by subcool. So I guess I'll use the old trusty between 8 and 12. Man, listen to that water chooching through that pipe. That's a lot of water skid, bro. I don't know if that's coming up on camera, but it is chooching through that pipe. Man, this is going to take a while to melt. Alright, we're almost there, big dog. Just a little bit of ice left. You got to get all the ice off or the charge won't be right when you recharge it with refrigerant. Things leaking like crazy from all the water melted ice. Oh, that's ice, man. It's trapped inside the filter. Crazy. gonna try out the old Inficon leak detector because when it's low and iced up you know you got a leak corner there got a leaky coil <sighs> you guys have seen my coil replacement videos it was on the Goodman heat pump so at the other property should be the same deal uh, what do we do sweat it off here it's my first experience with a TXV coil so we probably have to take that off let's try to remove that bulb there and just hit it with the torch here or cut it off. All right, Skid Nasty, let's see what we got here. <clears throat> Two and a half ton Goodman, 14 sear. See that 14? That means it's 14 sears. 3.0 means two and a half ton. Goodman, straight cool. And we are definitely low. Gonna give it a little popping. Give it a little popping of juice. We know we got a leak. I don't have this coil, and the AC company's like, oh man, those coils aren't for 65 miles around town. We've already got one coming and it's taken a month, so I'm not really liking this first company stuff. It seems to be boutique -y, hard to get. I don't know if they're just blowing smoke or telling the truth. <clears throat> so, definitely gonna need a coil though. The leak detector rang off on it. Let's 
just want to get this above freezing. See this house at 32? I want to get it above 32. EV for evaporator coil. That's the temperature. That's why it freezes up for you new guys out there. It's because it gets below freezing. Then I'll start checking subcool and superheat. Superheat 34, subcool 3.5. We're above freezing now. Give it a little popping. I'll be back. All right, big dog. We got a 12 degree sub cool, 22 degree super heat. It's about 77, 78 degrees out here. It's going to leak all back out anyway, so I'm not going to get too cereal with it. But uh, this is where I'm going to keep it till the new coil comes in. So according to the HVAC guys, it takes about six months to get a doggone first company coil around here. So probably won't be filming it, but there you go. Thank you all for watching. Pump the stock. Hit the like button. Subscribe. Thanks.